There are a lot of insane AI tools that convert images to video, text to video, and even text to images. But none can be compared to this new AI tool, videogram.ai, that converts text to images almost perfectly. You can create logos, 3D text, and a lot more with the help of this AI tool. I will show you how you can create different type of text, logos with the help of this new AI tool, videogram.ai. So with that being said, let's jump right into it. So you are probably aware that you can't sign in to this site now, right? Because of they are asking you to join the weekly. So don't join this weekly because you are actually going to be waiting forever. After this, what you need to do is to let's just get rid of this weekly stuff. Um, just come to a new tab and type in bing.com here on Bing. Type that ideogram.ai. So don't select this first option here. Select this one that says helping people become more whatever it is. So just so now you can see before it was join the waitlist. Now you can see sign up with Google. So I'm just going to sign up real quick. So you can see it, it's as easy as that. You just use Bing to sign into Ideogram and you are good to go. So here on my tab, this is uh, what I've actually tried out. I was just testing everything out with um, Ideogram.ai. You can see them 26 minutes ago. I was trying everything out. So you can create long and short text with Ideogram.ai, but not really. I will put it the longer the, if the text is very, very long, like this one, this generated result, the text was really long and didn't really come out. So you can see the prompt at the down section there. So you can see it with great power comes great responsibility and it's with great okay there's no power in this section there is with great okay this is not complete but this was almost like it but if you keep on clicking on remix 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 i'm going to get a very nice result so here's how you can actually do this so let me just head over to the home section real quick so the thing is that you can use from a template but this disadvantage of using from a template is that it will remain in that same size so if it's a straight size you are going to have your results see this one now you're going to have your results in a straight size you're going to um have your results in a slant size see this one now you're going to have your results in a slant um size so there's nothing really hard here i just okay i think i should just select anyone real quick okay not gotten anyone yet so once you've selected the template first so you be aware that you get it's just the name that will change so i'll click on remix and then i'll just input the name there let me just input my name here so you can change since this is more of a feminine look you can see it's kind of pink you can change the color here to you can add to this prompt you can add black background and you just be creative with this the more creative you are with prompting the more better the results will be so you can see all these flowers in the prompt wearing flower i can remove that since i want i'm a guy so i don't want my you know name to be in the flower um kind of background but just for the sake of this you can select more um more what's it called more style so the is only vibrant and cinematic that was chosen i'll select 3d so this one will change entirely and i'll select them um, typography yes because this is text it's text itself so once you click on select this tool i'll just click on generate and then i'll wait for a while for this to load so you can see the dial section here where it's actually showing um 10 so it's to start counting till it gets to zero and then once it's finished counting your results will be generated so keep in mind like i said before the template you use is the result you will get it's just the name will change and the size of that template will be the size of your um results but don't worry i'll show you how you can work with different size in rectangular format or in a square format so i'll just wait for mine to process real quick so you can see this is what you actually see okay this the result wasn't really perfect i like the fourth one but it didn't really give me what i actually need now here is the, another um tip here any results or any generated image that is close to the close to what you want but you still really don't like it you click on remix again and to give you um four more results but i don't want to waste time in this video and you know just clicking on remix remix so this is that for this the third one here this third section is actually nice so if i if i don't really like this i click on remix it'll give me four new options again you know? so you just keep on clicking on remix till you get what you actually want so this is how you can actually do this for um the text section so i think i'll just show you guys okay let me just head over to my own tab here real quick like i said you can create this for longer text right scroll down to you select the template that i want so i selected the template for this longer text that says um with great power comes great responsibility so you can see the prompt here all these are the prompts so you can even pick since you see this um thing at the back the that is gradients or splashes of gradient paint so you can repeat that in the previous one we just did now anything you see from 
a particular generated result you can pick that and add it to your own generated um result so i'll just scroll back quickly so here's the one i did without a without um a template so this is the one i did without the template real quick let me just show you guys this this is one this is one i did so you can see the prompt just copy the prompt here if you want to copy that and you paste it in the search bar you just make sure you change your name if you like this one you're seeing on the screen make sure you change your name like i said click on remix if you want to click on remix it's give you four more new results click on the one that is okay this is one also nice so if you like this or like this or like any of these once you click on any one any of the four and click on remix you will get four more new results so put your name here text put your name at the center of a beautiful background you know blah 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 and all the stuff there so the background uh, sorry the prompt this is the prompt i use and see this is in a rectangular manner so you just do well to do that if i use a rectangle like i said i'll show you guys how you can use the rectangular format so let me just go back real quick and show you guys how you can use the rectangular format so i don't know which one exactly i click on regenerate form from this um result here but when i click on regenerate from one of these four see the see the result here okay yeah okay no no it's not that i click on regenerate from this one here this one here and it gave me that previous one i just came out from so you can see this one too is also nice so you can see the same it's the same prompt i just click on regenerate so you can see the difference now so let's work on a new project real quick i'll be creating my youtube thumbnail here in this video and you can see my prompt here so after selecting this i'll select the style for this i want it to be in this 3d format i'll just select um quick something real quick typography and um, uh, maybe a little bit of painting let me just do that real quick illustration so you just keep on selecting here actually okay i think this is actually nice the size is once again this is the size 16 by 10 so it will give me a rectangular um, layout and you know this is it so let me just wait for a while for this to process real quick so um this is actually not complete the ai actually forgot me journey so the third one is the one I actually really like. I'll just click on remix for that and I pray it actually gives me what I actually want. Let it include, you know, mid journey in this in this text. So just run real quick. Maybe I should give it a little bit of space. Um, let me click on generate once again. Um, okay, this is not giving me what I actually want, but I'll keep on trying and you might probably see it on the you know the YouTube thumbnail. I actually i don't know why it's actually not including the second um text but this is it for this uh part so you can actually create logos as well like i said earlier so let me just show you guys the one actually where is it okay the logo I actually worked on this one is here so this is the one so you can see my prompt at the down section there so i have the fourth one selected i'll just click on remix okay i just like this like this okay i think i should include minimalistic on this prompt so this um generated results isn't what i actually really you know wanted because i actually from my prompt i included with the text original so that is why i'm getting a you know a word mark um you know kind of logo so you can just scroll down if you want to get more logo ideas that is if you you see some in the trending section or the recent section i actually saw some earlier when i was working on this um today okay see yes okay this is nice you can see this now so you can see this one is actually nice so see what i'm actually talking about so you can just pick from this prompt and change it to any way or any how i actually want it so you can just remix it to your own taste as well so in order to download that just hold it down and click on download and you're pretty much you know good to go so once again like i said if you want to uh, create yours use um you can use templates or you can use your own um prompt as well just scroll down to see if you find a template that suits your taste recreate it by adding your name if you want to create logos as well you can scroll down till you see logos that you know are okay to your own taste like the logo we saw um earlier you can just okay share another logo here just do well to change this to your own taste this is actually nice you guys to create logos as well you guys do a lot more but we'll stop here for today's video let me just go back real quick scroll down to get a template that you actually really really like change the name to whatever you actually want of course you can scroll down through everything and of course while actually in the trendy section you can click on recent as well this is the recent um section here so by clicking on the research section you get access to more images 
that people are actually uploading so this is this for ideogram.ai you can use it to generate a lot more and i hope this video was helpful so you can do it to share this to a friend and ensure subscribing to my channel for more